it's Dr. Hadassah Kupfer, audiologist and hearing aid specialist in Brooklyn, New York. Today I'd love to talk to you about reverse slope hearing loss. If you have reverse slope hearing loss, which is characterized by poorer hearing in the low frequencies and more normal or less of a hearing loss in the higher frequencies, you're probably one of the unlucky few people that has encountered an audiologist who did not really believe your symptoms and did not um, address your situation correctly. And in our practice, this is one area where we have um, special training and expertise allowing a lot of patients who have reverse slope who have had a lot of disappointment and challenges in the past, um, we give them a new sense of hope and we are able to help them with a lot of their challenges. Now, what's the difference between reverse slope and regular slope? What is a slope? Um, when we do a regular hearing test, we check one's ability to hear all the different frequencies going across from the low frequencies to the high frequencies. Think about the keys on a piano. Um, determining what is the softest sound that you can hear. And the way that a person's hearing test looks as one gets older, regular age-related hearing loss, typically looks like a slope when we plot it. In the lower frequencies, the hearing is better, and as we move to the higher frequencies, the hearing drops. It's We need to make it louder and louder in order for um, the person to just be able to hear. And for certain people, it's exactly the opposite. And usually this is due to a either genetic condition or some sort of virus, something idiopathic. It's much, much less common than the regular slope, which is typically due to aging, noise exposure, and certain medications and other uh, medical conditions. And unfortunately, because the majority of people with hearing loss have um, regular sloping hearing losses or what's called a high frequency hearing loss, um, hearing aids are designed to um, to assist with a high frequency hearing loss and audiologists as a whole are trained um, to approach um, amplification and prescribing hearing aid settings um, more geared towards what would help a high frequency hearing loss without even being taught that there's a difference between the two things and their management uh, between a regular slope, a uh, high frequency hearing loss, and a predominantly low frequency hearing loss. And the way that I originally learned about this was um, through a gentleman named Dan Schwartz, who's actually an engineer, and he himself had um, the misfortune, unfortunately, of dealing with audiologists who distrusted him and did not believe that um, reverse slope hearing losses need to be treated differently. And he himself wears hearing aids and came to the conclusion that there's a certain technique that's necessary in order to give the person um, audibility and the ability to hear certain sounds while not uh, swallowing up the good hearing that they, they still have. And this is the challenge that a lot of audiologists um, either have not um, heard of um, alternate techniques for reverse slope or some audiologists are just insistent um, and unwilling to look at the, the thousands of people who have reverse slope hearing loss who are saying that their methods don't work. So in our practice, we often see patients who have been mismanaged, unfortunately, in all parts of New York, and um, they come to us to have their hearing aid fitting um, adjusted and reversed. Some people are coming to us for the first time as well, and by following these other techniques, um, we are able to give um, individuals with reverse slope hearing loss um, significant hope. Um, just this week, we had a lovely woman, fairly young, um, in her early 60s, who had been living with reverse slope hearing loss for about 15 years now. Um, she's worn various different hearing aids, has tried various audiologists, and who were top, top audiologist names in various hospitals and other settings that were highly recommended. And unfortunately, she, her hearing loss was addressed the way that a regular high frequency hearing loss should have been addressed. And because of that, the fitting that she ended up with with her hearing aid actually made her hearing abilities worse. And it was almost like a punishment to have to wear hearing aids like that because of how, how bad they sounded. And as a patient, it's hard to 
distrust what the professional is telling you, but after so many times of using it and seeing that, that something is not right, um, she, she did take that further step and did do some research online and, and that is how she found me. And we were able to, to use this alternate um, technique which has helped so many people and um, again the hearing is not perfect because you know it is, it is a unique kind of hearing loss and there are limitations. However, she has such a new lease on life now. She said that had I been her audiologist from the beginning her life would have been different. See, this, these are her, her exact words that she so beautifully wrote to me in an email, but you know that, that really broke my heart that all of these years that had gone by, she was wearing hearing aids that were torturous to wear and thinking that these were devices that would help her. And the truth is that they were better than wearing nothing, but just the amount of struggling that she went through unnecessarily just because of you know the, the misinformation and the unawareness that there is about reverse slope really breaks my heart and and just knowing that that I am able to offer um, an alternative approach to to you folks with reverse slope hearing loss um, it really it really makes me hopeful and I, I feel like I have um, a sense of purpose in terms of really helping you guys and believing you when you're saying that um, you know the traditional methods are not working so if you are struggling with reverse slope hearing loss in the New York area um, don't hesitate to give us a call discuss your situation um, you can feel free to email us your audiogram and a picture of your current hearing aids and we'll let we will let you know what we can do for you and I really hope that um, that we can um, as always in our practice we listen to what each person has to say and we um, we carefully mesh science and the research together with the art of listening to the patient and and understanding when something is not working as expected and knowing when to reverse course and, and soften things a little bit. So um, we're happy to have a conversation with you and um, it's my pleasure to be able to give you um, a new sense of hope. Hope is possible and um, we, ha we have uh, ways to help you out. So. Nice chatting. Hope to hear from you soon.